hello everybody you will recognize that the sound and the video are not the same they are not congruent please forgive me but I just couldn't do anything about it hello everybody this is a new episode of let's program but this time I won't program I will rather show you the things I have made while I was not recording. So let's start. This game is called Ariel. It's named after the air spirit who takes part in Shakespeare's The Tempest. Is an air spirit who serves under Prospero. So I'm going to show you first the code. I have an actual microphone here, but no microphone holder. So yeah, it's a little bit difficult. This whole mess is the modeling of this figure. These are um, variables, so it will move its legs when it's walking. I think I rather show it more what the gameplay than th the code because it's a lot to explain and if you have questions you can ask. Yes. Yeah, that's the code. I can show you the modeling of this figure. This whole mess is the modeling of the figure. Head. Here's the feet. There's the arms. The top. The trousers. The eyes, the hair, and the sign. Um, the Ariel has a sign on its cheek. So um, we have an enemy. The area, a control menu, a help menu, a start screen, and I think we're gonna play it now. loading so we can exit that was very fast we can delete that means we can um, delete our game progress but I didn't really flash that out because I'm not very good with this function with um, save strings and how to save things. I don't know how to do this. So now I have to put my microphone away because I need both hands. But I can try to talk to you still. So here we have our figure. This is our figure. That's how I modeled her. And that is the enemy. And the enemy is very annoying I know so our figure um, first I show you the help menu so we have the controls back to game we can save and back to the main menu play or we can just go back to the game okay so now we walk um, it's a little bit strange that she's looking where the camera is but I don't know how to fix this now because I don't want to do anything with 3D anymore because it's so difficult and so frustrating when things don't work. So I decided to um, give up on 3D. But the most things I will show you now are 3D. So she can jump. Please look at the leg movement. 
Okay, one cannot cannot see it properly. Oh, whoa, no, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> she's dead. Okay, our figure is dead. Let's play again. So you can see you can't um, walk over the cliff. It's dangerous. Okay, I know she has some... So when you press C, you have the one person view. And there must be be some kind of shooting thing. Where is it? Oh, it's there. Why is it there? Huh? Okay, that's very strange. Um, I don't know my own game anymore. I have to say I um, didn't do this since I don't know I have I haven't been doing something on this for um, ages it seems like ages so when we press the mouse button and we so yeah we have a shield and now we have their shield yeah It's a little bit buggy. I hope someone can understand me <laughs> because this microphone ain't very good. So that's that. But there must be something more. Yeah, there it is. Away. So now look let's look back at the Yes there is it. There it is. So when we press the left mouse button, then Whee! we can shoot. Oh I see. Uh, well she's she's too near. She's a little bit too um much I have an idea what we can do yes she's away hooray <laughs> well, no no <laughs> I think we're gonna go to the next game Hello, we are now at the next game. This game is a game where I wanted to try some objects the figure cannot move through. So walls, yeah. Here are walls, then there are floors. It's a very difficult thing. Um, when you want to ha have, when you want me to explain it, then just say. I will just write it in the comments, okay? We have the girl with no special powers. We have stairs. This is um, the wall for the follower because the follower can move through the wall of the girl. It's a little bit complicated um, because I can't, can't figure can't go through the wall. I have to make it in the walls script so in the walls um, code I don't know if you can understand me but just let's play it okay here we have her our pink haired girl and her arms are very thin 
Okay, let's walk. Okay, here we are and we're going. Also here we are and we're going. And we can't move through the wall, but we can look through the wall. Yeah, I I don't know how I could uh, make the camera bounce. Maybe I know, but we, like I said, I don't want to use 3D anymore. It made too much pain. Oh no, the follower is getting us. <laughs> oh, no. <sh> <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I got me cut, cut this out. Oh no, the follower got us. Oh no. So we can move the stairs up. And now we are here. Yeah. And jump girl. Jump. Jump. Oh lord. And here we have platforms. That's a way to escape not have a fall from the cliff. And yes. We are standing in the air. Okay. I think that's enough of this game. Like I said, she can't move through the wall. Only the camera can. Okay, we're back again. Now we have the game that finally made me quitting to try the 3D world. Nochmal von vorne. Okay, we are back. This is the game that made me quit it to try to make 3D games. Because the blast doesn't go where it should. I show you. So we have a girl, we have a blast, this was just for test. Oh, and we have a cross. Let's go. She's very slender. She can jump. I think she cannot fall off the cliff. Yes, she cannot. Yes, what can she do more? We have this view and if you press Q and there's the blast. The thing is, it does not do what it should. Originally, it should um, go where the cross is. So it should follow the cross. But I'm too stupid to program it that way. So yeah, it doesn't function. Yeah, I'm... I'm pretty dumb. That's why I quit it 3D. Because I couldn't make the blast go where it should go. I had I was just fed up. Okay, I think that was a good um presentation of this game. So So I would say let's move on. Okay, now we have my 2D game after all this time of 3D game. Okay, nochmal von vorne. Okay, here is my first 2D game after a lot of 3D games. 
I'm so happy about it because it makes me so much more fun than 3D because I can draw them, I can draw the figures and I, sh I show you, this is the sketch library and we have here a lot of pictures because Here we are. This is our little miss and she's already very excited because she wants to go. Well, I think we should let her go. Finally, I can only move one hand and I can hold my microphone up. So let her go. Oh, I first have to click here. And here she goes. I don't know why she suddenly dance there while she's running because I think maybe I should have put two variables I sh think I should have put two variables variables to um, control the running and the standing I don't know but I know for the next time how I should do it so for the jumping I only made one frame Okay, what's jumping? Wait a minute. Ah, I know. No. What is... Ah, V. Well, it looks a little bit like she's flying. I think I'm gonna add a karate move or kung fu move so she can protect herself and you can see in the sketch her name is fairy so she will transform herself into a fairy I have also some other games made with 2d actually I don't know if I can show them because I took some pictures from the internet and I think so I took some for example for the one game I took a Psylox Sprite and I think it's a little bit illegal to use it now in um, a video so I won't show it but it's a game where you can shoot laser blasts it's 2D and you can make a giant laser it sounds very amazing now but it's pretty simple so yeah that were my games i hope you liked this video thank you very much for your attention